Hello friends, so part two, we're going pretty good so far. Alright, so you have your basic layout, or at least something you're happy with for now. So we're going to add some doors, some windows, and then, you know, maybe some furniture to kind of dress it up. So the third option is place door. By default it comes with this awesome, awesome white door and this white frame. If you want to make a change to that, there's two options here, doors and frames on the side. If you want to do a different door, select that one, and as you can see, it's going to pop up with that one. If you want to do a door frame, you will probably not see these bigger ones, but bear with me, we'll get to that. You can select a different one and go with that. So, I'm going to add a door right there. And then, in case you don't want a door frame, you can of course press none, and you can just add in a regular door. I want to keep the door frames, I want to go white for the inside. And then for doors, I want to select none for the kitchen. So we have an open kitchen. And then I'm going to select, let's see, for the bathroom, I'm just going to select this one. And for the bedroom as well. So now we have doors. We still like some windows as well. So the next button, conveniently, is place the window button. Now, there's three options for windows instead of the two for doors. So we have the window frame. We have the curtains that you can select. So we're gonna go with the big white drapey ones for the inside. And then I'm gonna change the window to, let's see, this one. And for the shutters, you don't need to do shutters, but I think they look pretty, pretty funky, pretty nice. So we're gonna add a little window there. Maybe one there. I'm gonna put the dining table here so at the end of the dining table I want one and then maybe mirror it to the other one. Then for the curtains, because I don't want to have the same curtains in the entire house, so I'm gonna go with the wide smaller curtains for the bedroom. And then for the kitchen, I'm gonna go with one of those roll-up thingies. And in the bedroom we'll go for the same. So I like to keep my mirrors, or no, my uh, windows mirrored, because that gives my house a bit of a, a better feeling. So I'm gonna go to the select and move objects tool, and I can drag this one over. Wait, what is it? It's still drawn for some reason. That's not what it should be doing. There we go. I don't know what happened there. So now it's mirrored to the other one, and in game you're never gonna see it, but you know. This is just for me, making it look for my, nice for myself. So, we have windows, we have doors. All right, it's almost done. We only need to do some furniture and then maybe some add some lamps so you can actually see something inside. So, oh wait, you cannot press the object tool, which is the little chair. You know why that is? Because you have to select an object for some reason. So, this also looks a little bit different from yours but we'll go with the ones that you do have at this moment. So there should be a seating, let's see, there, seating indoor. Now, when you select those, and then you go to objects, it's gonna pop up the object. Because when the moment you select something here, you can press this button and then you will actually be able to place the object. So we're gonna, uh, yeah, I do wanna go with the orange couch though. So I'm gonna add some couches. You can hold the left mouse button to rotate it and it will snap automatically to walls in the orientation that's set up here. So we're gonna have a little bit of a chilling area there and then maybe have another couch here with a TV. So we're gonna add a high table for the dining right there, and a low table for this stuff and a little TV table over there. So there's a whole bunch of options in here and it, it'd be best if you just play around with it and see for yourself, because I, I kind of know where stuff is at this point. But for you, I, I can imagine it's a bit of a, oh my God, there's so many, so many options. Most things are pretty easy to find, but you just need to know where they are. Well, that makes no fucking sense. They're easy to find, but you need to know where they are. You'll get to know where they are as you use them a bit more. 
sorry, I have a, a bit of a cold. So if that's my nose uh, bothering you, my bad. So I'm gonna add a big telly and then maybe some shelving next to it. So in shelving, we have the book cabinet, which is wonderful. And then maybe this little thing right there. And then in storage, I believe there is, yeah, this little one. Let's put that in the corner. So that will look great. And so for the bathroom, we're gonna add a bath, which is wonderful. And then maybe toilet, because that would make sense. And now oh, there's two things you can do. You can add a sink that's actually standing on itself or hanging on the wall. But in this case, I'm gonna add a counter in the bathroom. And I may as well also add a counter to the kitchen. And then when I go to sinks, I can actually just place one on top of that like this. Now, of course, you'd also want a mirror in the bathroom. So there's walls decoration, which has a whole bunch of mirrors, which will really uh, you know, dress up the place a little bit. Same goes for the rest of the house. If you add some stuff to the walls, it will feel a lot more lit in. Oh, almost forgot the bedroom. So we're gonna go to bedding, and we're just gonna select one of the beds, and then maybe add some cabinets next to it, and a big closet on the other side. And we're gonna go back to decoration, because maybe we also want to have like a big hanging mirror in the bedroom. And now we have a bit of a basic house. As you can see, there's nothing too fancy. We added some windows, we added some doors, we added some furniture, and, and that's it. That's kind of it. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. You do need, this is not an option. You do need to do this. So if you want to have lights in the house, you need to add a light switch in every room. So that means I have to add one in the dining room, but also in the living room, even though there's no wall in between them. They still count as two rooms for spawning purposes. And let's put the other last one there. Because if you place lighting or light switches, it will know that the light switch just generates light for this room. If there's no light switches, there's not gonna be any lights in the room. And now we're at it, we may as well just add a, for decorative purposes, add a lighting outdoor option little lamp just because it looks nice so I think that kind of finishes up all of the stuff a basic house needs we have a living room we have a dining room we have a uh, kitchen we have a bedroom and we have a bathroom thanks for watching for this time and then I think next tutorial we'll do the outside and maybe the roof because roofs are quite tricky to get right and there's a lot of little tricks that you can do